Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Traveling Edition, the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. I'm traveling around eastern Arizona in the Sholo Pine Top area. Had a little bit of uh, viewing pleasure yesterday. Drove about 20 minutes outside of Pine Top and captured this wonderful sun thunder cell about to rain down on me and cause all kinds of havoc. So, and then it rolled into the valley. So, you guys got the blister with a bunch of rain down there, from what I understand. So, what's going on right now? We have about 16,600 listings on the market. And when we take a look at what's happening on the seven day moving average, it's, you know, kind of more of the same. The blue line represents the number of homes coming on the market, and the red line is the number of homes going under contract. And you can see there's a little bit of a 4th of July dip that's in there. And that dip happens every every holiday right down. There's the mouse right there. And so, but what we're seeing is the gap is still maintaining about 1,800 homes. We used to, over here, put about 4,100 homes on the market. And then 4,100 homes that go under contract. And that's why you had all that pricing pressure. Well, we're still adding about, when I look here, it's showing me there that we're putting at 4,600 homes on the market, which really, what, it's only 500 units more, but because fewer and fewer of them are going under contract, the inventory number keeps building. Now, the interesting thing about that inventory number is that inside of it, 1,700 homes are new construction, and there's a whole bunch of Airbnbs and some rentals out there that are being unloaded. I don't see a rush for the door for people to list their homes. But I'm going to talk about what you're running into if you're a home seller right now. And one of the things that we are seeing is that this listing success rate is, is not doing very well. Uh, only 78%, where we used to be rocking about 92 to 94%, which meant, you know, just about all of you were getting your contracts accepted. And right now we're seeing that the Crawford Market Index is plummeting. It's down to 156 as of July, and we have many cities such as Buckeye, Maricopa, and Queen Creek now considered a balanced market moving quickly towards a buyer's market. So what does that all mean for you? Well, if you're a seller, you've already experienced that you've probably only had one showing in a week or maybe two. Or your home's been on the market for two weeks and you've only had one showing. And I've I have answered a few phone calls to that effect. Do you have any advice? I can't give specific advice <coughs> about your house when you call me if you're listed with a realtor. That that get me a little bit of a, um, I'll get my hand smacked. I can give you generic advice about what I see in the market, but I really hesitate to say, well, here's what I would do with your house because I'm not your listing agent, and that would clearly be what they call an ethics violation, and I don't want that. But if you're a seller right now, my advice is this. You need to start thinking like a buyer. What do I mean by that? Well, right now, it's pretty obvious. Buyers, they're out. I'm sitting this out. I'm not playing this game. I'm not going to pay these prices. I can't afford this interest rate. I'm done. I'm going to wait. I don't know how long I have to wait, but I'm waiting. So everybody else, including me, we're going, I don't know how long they're going to wait. I don't know what it's going to look like down the road. I don't know where interest rates are going to be, and I don't know where house prices are going to be. Right now, we're seeing them come down in listings. The average price per square foot in closed sales is starting to come down now. Nothing alarming yet. Um, interest rates kind of staying right there. They're not, they're not fluctuating too much. So there isn't anything there for a buyer that says, okay, now I'm back in. And there isn't anything optimistic for you as a seller to say, okay, well, this is looking good. Next month will be better. So if you have to sell, you're kind of stuck, or are you? <coughs> One of the things that I'm seeing, go look at new construction for a minute as a buyer. And you look at that, and it says, um, we're offering you, and of course, they're offering higher commissions now for real estate agents to bring buyers, where a lot of them weren't offering a dime. Some of them are offering between 3 and 5%, or they're even offering buyer bonuses for agents to bring a buyer. So they're getting desperate. But they're offering, at a minimum, $10,000 credit for you to go shopping in the upgrade store or whatever you want to use that money for. But then they're offering like six, dollars $7,000 in closing cost credits if you use their preferred lender to buy down 
a fixed rate for 30 years. Hmm, that's attractive. You can still do that. My advice for a seller right now is act like a builder. You can lower the price of your home. If you're going to reduce the price of your home $20,000 and it doesn't attract a buyer, it really doesn't help the buyer that much because you're looking at an interest rate of about 5.5 .5 to 5.7 and you lower it by $20,000. Have you solved their payment issue? No. Maybe 50, 60 bucks. So you haven't solved that pain point that they have. If you lower it $75,000, yeah, you're getting closer. But what if? What if you decided you were going to help buy down their interest rate for the entire term? And what if you can find some programs out there that cost about $10,000? Now you've solved the problem for the buyer. Now the buyer goes, oh, this is attractive. Wait a minute, this house, it seems like it's priced okay, but they're going to buy down my interest rates, so and now I'm going to save almost two to $300 a month. I kind of like this. Now you're doing something that your next door neighbor isn't doing when they're trying to sell their house. Um, they're doing everything. They're throwing everything but the kitchen sink. They're yelling at their real estate agent, lower the, lower the price. How much lower do I have to go for crying out loud? Um, you know, I vacuum every day. The price of the house is not the payment. It, real estate's always been about the payment. Now, it's tricky. So you have to kind of find a lender that can help you. And, and then you can play the same verbiage that these builders are. We are offering you X amount towards buying your interest rate down if you work with our preferred lender. Now, most buyers are going to come with their lender. And why do you want to say preferred lender? Well, because you've already done the math. You already found a guy that will put that package together for you. And you can have your agent tell their agent, look, we got this guy. He's got this program. He's going to buy down the rate. Now, they can go back with their lender and say, hey, you know, can you, can you, can we get our lender to, to put together a program to buy down the rate? And as a seller, why not? You can pay that lender, you know, pay down that lender's rate as well. But it's very convenient to go, to go ahead and already have a program that you know of, that you're comfortable with, that you can offer as one of your sweet deals and say, if you use my preferred lender, then here's what we're offering. Agents will go, what do you mean preferred lender? You're not a builder. So you have to explain to them. Well, I got with a lender and said, you know, if we get buyers coming, they're qualified. Do you think you can offer me a program to buy down their rate? And I guarantee you, they're going, gee, I never thought of that. So that's what I mean about getting inside the head of a buyer. Because a buyer right now is not liking the payments. They're not liking the prices. They're waiting for prices just to plummet or interest rates come flying down. I don't think either of those are going to happen anytime soon. And if you're under a pinch right now and you've got to sell your home, I would start trying some of those financing tricks and tips before I would start plummeting the price of my home because I don't think that's going to yield the buyer the number that they're trying to chase. Just some food for thought in this crazy market. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. In the meantime, I'll try to make sure I've still got a good internet connection as I try to record these videos. Take care.